Hi there, what's cracking? Welcome to my tutorial series on learning Cypress and Cucumber. In this video, we're going to add our next test. Since we've added the ability to add a new to-do, we now need the ability to see the existing to-dos. So if we browse to the application right now, localhost 4200, you can see I have no to-dos. I'll add one. And now I have a test to do created. Let's say I close that tab and come back a little while later. We see that my to do has persisted. So let's go ahead and write our test for this scenario. Since this test lives within the home page feature, we're going to add it to this home page file. So it's a new scenario within the home page file. Scenario, see my existing to-dos. So how do we start this? So we have to have some to-dos already existing for ourselves. So we're going to say, given I have the following to-dos. And you can see that it's got some squiggly underlines there telling me that, hey, you haven't actually um, created the step yet. We'll get to that in one moment. Let's create a data table with our two fields. And we're going to have two to-do items in this list. Test to-do, which is going to not be completed. And we're going to have another, another test to-do that is going to be complete. So, we have these items. When I navigate to the home page, and the home page has loaded, then I see the following to dos. So we're going to see basically the same stuff that is just above. Yeah, so let's copy that and we will put it there. And the last thing, and I see that I have one item left. So one remaining to do. We'll save this file. We can see that it auto formats for us. So the only step that we don't currently have is given I have the following to dos. So let's go and create that. Within the home page, home page folder, we've got the steps.js. Now, this has a very similar structure to then I see the following to do. So we're going to go to, I think it's here, yep. And we're just gonna copy that structure. We're gonna go back to home page. Okay, so this is a given, given. I have the following to do's. Okay, so we're gonna loop through the items of the data table. Each one is going to be a to do, and they're going to come in as an array. So if we have a look at our feature file again, the title is gonna be the zero index item and completed is going to be the one index. So what we can do is we can say, const title comma completed and we can destructure these items from the to do which is an array okay so now we need to go and we need to actually go and add these items to our local storage so we're going to build up something that we're going to write into our local storage. So let's just, uh, we're going to say let, let to do, to do's equals empty list. And then we need to push an item into that list. We're going to have the title, we're going to have the completed, but we also need to define we need to define an ID. 
So what we can do is we can grab the index of the item that items that we're looping through. And this is going to be a string. So we'll just say test to do, let's use uh, template literals. So test to do index. Okay, and then once we've looped over all those things, we need to go and write them into local storage. So let's have a look at how we did that in the adder to do step. So window.localStorage.setItem, react to dos, and we just set it to an empty array to start with. So let's go here window.localStorage.setItem, react to dos, and we're going to json. String stringify our to dos. Okay, and so this should be us loading those values into the local storage. There's one more thing that we need to do. In order to write to the local storage, we actually need to visit our application. So we're just going to drop that in right here. before we write to local storage. Okay, let's go back to our feature file. No more squiggly underlines, so we should be able to run these tests. So npm run sci open. This will open Cypress for us. And let's run these homepage tests and see what happens. Okay, so step implementation missing for I see the following to dos. I see the following to dos right here. And the reason why this is failing is because we put this step inside the adder to do. So we need to take this, and since we're using it inside adder to do and also home page, we're going to put it inside the comment folder. Save that. It'll rerun the test for us. Step implementation missing for I see that I have one item left. That's probably the same case. Let's look in the adder to do. I see that I have. Take that out. Save it. And we'll go into the common folder. And save it there. The test will run. And in this case, it sees that zero items are left. And that's not quite right, is it? I think the issue here is that if we go to our step definition, completed here actually ends up being a string. So we need to say completed is if completed equals Okay, and now we're all passing. We can see that in our last test, test to do was not completed, another test to do was completed. So if you liked the content that we went through today, be sure to hit subscribe and click the like button. If you wanna ask any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below or come and join me live on twitch.tv slash Dane or tweet at me at twitter.com slash Thanks for watching and catch you in the next video.